the patch notes are here and the update comes out tomorrow sooner than we actually thought comes out december 12th my prediction was somewhere along december 15th to 17th since the survey is in and during that time whatever so earlier than i thought a few days but we finna sit here and read these patch notes together and see is this patch note good enough to change the game and make people actually come back to it is it good enough that's gonna be the question we're answering today in this video i know a lot of people they're just immediately gonna see patch note and they're just gonna be like they fixed the game the game is fixed now it's perfect on some over copium type ish let's read these goddamn patch notes and see did they add the main important thing that needed to be patched for people to come, come play this game? And is it enough to actually bring people back to the game? Considering the fact that it really ain't nothing to do in the game besides play with your friends. There's no like actual like real content to actually play anymore, right? If you beat the story mode. So let's get right to it. Dragon Ball Sparky 04 4 patch notes, December 2024, game mode adjustments, battle. All stages are now available on offline player one versus player two battles. Functionality adjustments. Okay, so people that was playing local with their family, whether it's their brothers, their friends, whatever, friend, uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, they made all the stages in the game available for local play. It's kind of crazy they was able to do that in a snap of a finger. You would thought if it was that easy, why wasn't it available when launched? This is why some people be thinking that. We got the game early because of Diamond for advertising purposes and the game wasn't technically ready yet for release. That's what people think we're playing beta right now and waiting for the game to get fully updated to actual launch the game. I wish they would have just waited till the game came out months later where they had everything perfect. Battle setup. A function allowing you to change character display method has been added. So this, from the least the other day I had did a video on with the whole when you select character all the transformations pop up. You now can do a quality of life. You can change the character screen, character select screen to the old BT3 style. So I see some people complaining about them changing it. Some people actually enjoy all the transformation stuff being on the screen so they can select, select the characters quicker. But it's, it's preference now. So now you can decide how you want it to be set up. The my set function have been added for team members. Great. So now you can set your team. So now when you're playing team DP, you'll already have your team pre-set uh, and you can just press X or whatever console you're on and boom your team ready to go to play in team rank, tdp ranked whatever so that's good you don't have to waste time trying to find your characters already there um whatever multiple teams you probably have set up for yourself uh rank match slash player match you can now skip the intro battle animations require both players to input the skip command that's good no lie to sit through the goddamn cutscenes of them talking right um player match you can now set your team to hidden or reveal to your opponent when editing your team. Oh, cool, cool. Play with your friends. Leave a little mystery there. Cool, cool, cool. Custom battle mode. Text can now be sorted alphabetically. Yes. I, I When I made my first custom battle, it was like, it's so jarring going in there and there's so many goddamn uh, dialogue options and, you do, and you're trying to find ones perfectly for your scenario, but there was no way to like, sort it in any type of way it was just all kafuzzle really it wasn't really a good sorting so having alphabetical order now you can think of a quote in your head and just immediately scroll to it and go to it i would like if they had like a quick search in there where it's like i could type in a set a text and then the game would like pop up all the dialogue in the game that kind of matches whatever words i put in there keywords um that would be way better so custom battle kind of easier when it comes to telling the story so I hope they think about that in the future. I would think that would have been more of a go-to there. Um, I'm thinking right now with the rank, rank match slash player ma match. Rank match slash player match. Because they separate in sections of what they updated. So far, I don't see anything talking about them penalizing rage quitters. So, yeah. Um, we just, I, I, seen, I guess they're just going to stick to the longer queue times for rage quitters. But people that fighting as rage quitters, they just not going to get their points. I, I hate to see it i would really love to get my points in rank because i don't care about them getting penalized with a longer queue if i didn't get my points my time just got wasted and i didn't get my progress like i needed to in my rank so rage quitting is still gonna be a thing they're gonna know you while playing spark and zero Saudi until they actually do something about it which sucks and i don't see anything about having a casual playlist for you to go into outside of rank for online matches 
So they still stick into the lobby thing, which sucks as well. You know, it's, it's easy to just do the same matchmaking as rank battles and just make it that's not ranked and just casual play. I would play the game way more often if I just play casual play and not worry about some sweaties playing rank and choosing the same character all day. So, uh, I am um, kind of disappointed if not that's not in patch notes when that been that those been some things they've been talked about since day one. Options, okay, options. You can now set the battle camera distance to be closer. Who we'll wants to be closer? How the camera work in this game? You want to be as far as it can. You you need the camera to be on some goddamn first person shooter type ish when it zooms out in third person. Like that's how bad it is for the camera in the game. I don't know who would be wanting to put the distance closer. Okay. Battle system adjustment. High speed dragon dash. New action. Okay, this is a new action. The new quick move. I wasn't expecting the new action. The new quick movement action. High speed dragon dash where you can move quickly towards your opponent has been added. Perform with R2 and holding X. Okay, so in the game we have Dragon Dash where you press R2, X and your character just start flying with the aura around them to go wherever you wanna go. So now they're saying if you do R2 and then you hold the X button while you're in that, I'm assuming your character gonna pick up speed gradually as you hold the X um, I'm kind of curious what type of new movement uh, tech gonna be coming in the game from that interesting that's that one's interesting it, it depends on how quick they talk and how much key that uses up that that's that's okay that one gonna be you out to play around with that one it don't seem like it gonna be that big of a game changer but depending on how much speed we're talking and key consumption it could be a game changer it could be you can see people trying to approach differently based on how fast they talk with this dragon dash instead of trying to go behind the opponent and kick them because so far i haven't read anything this past note about when you dragon dash behind somebody and you punch your opponent still being able to freaking perception right after you kick them so you don't even get the punishment kind of crazy smash attack smash attacks when you hold swear when you charge it up and you see your opponent flying whatever counts your own translate it but it's when you hold square and you can let it go at the perfect time to teleport behind them then kick them away but yeah you will no longer be stunned being hit by a rush key blast when charging a smash that rush key blast when you just tap the key blast but just tapping it so you got the super arm like you're supposed to like from the old game from key blast when you charge up for a smash tech make it a little bit more valuable in this game because no one uses it in the old Tekashi game that was used a lot you rarely see it used in this game um when charging a smash attack during a rush attack okay so when you were doing your regular punching and then you hold swear charge time reduction based on hit count has been increased so now they're kind of favoring you to do the, the charge smash attack in your combos based on your hit count okay 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 now we got we got something going on here we got something going on here um rush key blast again that's when you just spamming the key blast button that's rush key blast the time between being able to fire the next rush, okay, the time between being able to fire the next rush key blast after firing the maximum consecutive amount at once, different from each character has been increased. I don't know if that's gonna stop key blast spamming simply because some characters don't have cooldowns at all. So I wish it would've, I wish it would've stated certain characters, cause like Vegeta for example. Vegeta don't have no cooldown on a, Vegeta don't have a maximum amount he can keep throwing. He can just keep throwing it based on his key blast, uh, his key gauge. Same thing with Broly and Jiren though. They just go based off their key, the key amount. They don't have no like actual like, oh, I shoot three, then I got a pause. I shoot three, then I pause. So how would that translate to them? How would that translate to characters that don't have a, a consecutive amount when it comes to key blast? They still be able to key blast spam. Rush key blast deflection. deflection. You can now move while deflecting rush key blast. Great, so now I can hold the deflection button when they spam the key blasts, and I can still move my body on a 360, I'm assuming, and deflect the key blasts. Cool, cool, cool. That still don't that still ain't gonna stop the key blast spam um situation though. Because if I go max sparking and I still spam key blasts, yeah, they're able to deflect it all, but now I can close the distance and then I can just ult and move, unblockable to move still, because they stuck in they stuck in a key blast. They still stuck in the deflection animation, so that what that doesn't really deal with the key blast man situation. You still gonna see that happening. I, I promise you guys, you still gonna see that happening. 
that's just a secure way to get your O off. You still see people spam, see people spam key blast, and whether you deflecting it, it's still a guarantee open them. Even if you're someone that don't have an unblockable O, if I spam key blast and you're in the middle of a, def a deflection animation, I can still use my O and still catch your guard and get it off. So uh, that's still ah. Uh, I wish they would do more when it comes to key blast spamming. Like saying something like, oh, you now spin key gaze when you're your sparking, so now you can't spin on key blasts. Or um, increase key gauge consumption in general for spamming key blasts. You know, something along them lines. Something, something, something. Or you're now allowed to vanish when you're in the middle of a deflection animation. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? Steps. You will now no longer be able to be hit by certain attacks immediately after performing a step. Step is when you step in on your opponent or you do a side step with the cartwheel and stuff. That That's what they mean by step. So now you will no longer be able to be hit by certain attacks immediately after performing a step. So now all I heard was steps and have even more invisibility uh, frames, which is good for skilled players. I love I love stepping when it comes to fighting games. So I, I, I love that. Okay. Rush key blast and smash key blast can now also be invaded. So now you can iframe key blast is up close by uh, stepping good that's great that's great okay okay stepping have become very what even more viable than it already was stepping have became even more of a great defensive mechanism that people need to learn in the game in higher tier because stepping is very very good when you up close to your opponent to mix them up very good um z burst dash z burst dash when you go behind your opponent the amount of key consumed when activating it has been increased? They increased Z Burst Dash? Wow. It already sucks on trying to get to your opponent closing the distance because how wide the game map area is. They increased the key amount even more on Z Burst Dash? That's crazy. Burst Smash. Key will no longer be consumed when activating it and will instead consume an amount based on the distance traveled. What is burst dash? Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me go to this game real quick. What is a burst dash? I don't know if that's a buff or a nerf because it depends on how far you are sending your opponent and how much key they talk when distance traveled. Burst smash, you rarely see people do it, but it is a good way to mix your opponent. It's when you see your opponent flying and instead of just doing the advantage to continue the dragon combo, um, or, or you just home dash to them and kick them. When you're in the middle of the dash, you can press triangle to go behind your opponent with the dragon dash and then kick them away or whatever. You really see people do it, it's a good mix up for people that's like good at timing when you send them flying. Um, but yeah, that'd be one thing you gotta test to see, is it a nerf or buff when it comes to the key consumption. But again, you really see people use it, so. Um, blast, damage has been increased when using a boost. This is good and bad. Good because I was already complaining about this when the game first came out. I said boosting your skills in this game is a waste of key. Do not do it. It only stacks on like 1,000 damage. It's not really good at all for longevity of your resources. But depending on how much they boost the damage of you using more key, it can be detrimental when it comes to you dying even quicker in a match from the insane damage scaling with the supers and ultimates in this game. So I don't know how I feel about boost you know getting a damage buff the matches may end even sooner it sucks but hey that's just what it is i, I really wish they tuned down a damage scale in this game but it is what it is z search z search will no longer lose track of your opponent when characters are swapped that was a horrible thing in team dp you kill somebody then you locked off of them and they get to plan their next attack it was crazy um you will now quickly regain sight of your opponent if you're, if they enter your line of sight from the front when Z search is not locked onto them. Perfect. Maybe this, will, maybe this will stop. This is one of the things you guys still test in the game. But hopefully this actually stops the whole someone using the ultimate and then going into, into sparking again and you know you're looking at them, you're catching not locking on and then they just do the ult on you again. You can do nothing about it. Hopefully this stops that. Um, so you can stop them before they can instant spark and stop the the snowball effect if you don't lock on quick enough then it's still the same issue someone use an old then it's spark again they're old again and they win um z counter okay this is vanishes some people get it mixed up everything is z counter super counter no z counter in this game bt3 they call it super counter 
super counter will call z counter in this game z counter is vanishing um the input window has been shortened so now vanishing is going to be harder z counter will also uh will become more difficult to perform if performed consecutively so they are tackling the vanish war problem so now when you see people do long rallies of vanishing wars you know they're good at the game instead of it being the same rhythm game over and over again so now vanishing gonna be way more of a uh, skill selling for people which is good so i know a lot of people they were just it was too easy to do too easy key consumed have been increased when successfully performing a z counter i said that i said this too i said increase the consumption so it's shorter and that give people more chances to pop a super right after winning the vintage war and stuff this is good skill count increase speed has been reduced i said this yes they listen thank god when set successfully performing z counter so now when you're doing when you're doing the long vintage wars which is going to be shorter even more anyway you get you get less skill gauge bonuses from doing the long rallies of vintage wars so w right there they fix vanishing in this game it don't need to be touched anymore they fix vanishing that's perfect are they gonna talk about super countering though? Super countering this game, I don't care how, how many people complain and say, it's the skill gap. No, it's not. Every goddamn match you get into, even the weakest of people in this game that's not good at the game can do a super counter. They just mash the ish out. It's too easy to do in this game. To the point, you can never complete a goddamn combo in this game. You just can't, okay? You can mash out super counter in this game. It's always a combo breaker. You can't do what you want. So hopefully they say something about super counter in this goddamn patch note. If not, then the major issue in this game is still not fixed for me. I just don't believe someone should be able to super counter mid combo, no resources used for free, no penalty from missing a time and nothing, just perfectly fine. Super counter need to be touched on. Even the newest of player can do it on accident. It's that easy to do. And if people complain about, if people over here complain about, no, it's not, it takes skill. No, it does not. You cope, you're coping. You're delusional. It does not take skill to do a super counter. Anyone can do it. Some people do it on accident. I even did it in my, one of my rank videos. I purposely punched somebody and then pressed the advantage button while I was in mid combo and stopped fighting. I literally swayed backwards on purpose in my video. Y'all have to look for it. It's in one of my rank, rank videos. I think it's playing with Goku. Yeah, Super Saiyan Goku uh, rank video. And literally, Cause the person was super countering the line. I was like, is he good as he just mashing it? So now I purposely swayed back after I punched, I started my combo and I purposely swayed back and this man was just punching thin air. He was just, he was mashing it. He was mashing it. So like, if you, if, if you see people doing that, it's like, bro, clearly it's too easy to do. It's not a timing thing. Um, revenge counters. Skill count consumed when using perception against revenge counter has been reduced from two to one. So now someone do a revenge counter, you know how you was able to, to you was able to perception in, they do the cutscene about you stopping the revenge counter, cool interaction, right? Instead of you having to have two skill gauges to do that now, now you need one. So now revenge counters just got even worse in the game. I don't know why they make this change. It makes sense logically in my head, resources wise, I should not be using two skill gauges to stop someone doing revenge counter because all I do is send them flying and then they can just vanish if I try to follow it up. So I understand it, unless unless they implement in a game where it's like if you counter somebody revenge counter, they cannot vanish out of that interaction afterwards. They locked out of that option because you just countered their revenge counter, their last resort option. Then okay, I understand it being like two skill gauges. But if it, for it to be one now, it's like revenge counters just got even worse. Revenge counters got even worse now. It, it really did got, got even worse. It's so easy to see them coming too in certain situations. It's easy to read them. So, man, revenge counters do not look so good in this game. I'm, I promise you, you're not. Um, rush attack, especially since revenge counter didn't get dropped to one. Revenge counter, I'm pretty sure it's still two skill gauges. Um, let's see, rush attacks during sparking mode. Gradual damage reduction of consecutive hits has been increased. So now when people are doing them infinite combos on you in their sparking mode, it's not infinite, you follow the combo eventually, right? The longer they do it, the less damage they you you deal to them now. So I guess that's I guess that's good for someone not you know just one KOing you with one sparking sparking mode. So that's good. Combos: the final attack of aerial combos and aerial slash combos will no longer be interrupted by guarding. Thank you, thank you. 
it's so many times I would do a area slash combo, area combo, and I'd be in the middle of doing it, and then in the middle of it, when I pull do the last hit to send them flying or knock them down for hard knockdown or something, they just guard. And it was like, this was not how it was in the old BT games. Why are they able to do this? So thank God that combo can get pulled off now. Character switch, health recovery rate of standby characters have been reduced. Thank you. In, in, in this game, you, it was smart to just always switch characters when you took some damage. So when you swap back in, they got full health for whatever bar you was left on. It was the strike. It was the smartest move in this game and good stalling with the time limit. Great change. Z burst dash. Uh, giant characters. Okay, so this one they charging at you, whatever. The tackle done by giant characters during Z burst dash is now guardable. Giants just got a huge nerve. They're not strong in the game no more. Giants are not strong in the game anymore. Clap it up. Clap it up. No longer have to worry about them. Skill adjustments. Skills that cause instant sparking mode. Skill count consumed has been increased. I heard based on the leaks, they only went up by one. So now, like, power to the very limit on Gogeta will be four instead of three now. And that would translate to all the other characters the same way. Is it a big enough change? I don't know. Simply because we have not seen anything here that slows down the amount of skill gauges you get. So you still get skill gauges quick from just getting beat up on this stuff. The only thing we see in the skill gauge getting nerfed on is Vanishes. And that was a lot of reason why people was getting it back quick because Vanish Wars was lasting a lot long. But I don't know if that's going to move the scale enough. The fact that someone can just lose a health bar and immediately get one full skill gauge. And the fact just getting beat up in general make it goes up for certain characters quicker. Get the skill gauge amount in this game is just too potent. So I don't know if that's going to be a big enough change for people to still get the instant spark off and still finish the match. I, I don't know if it'll be a big enough change. We'll see. We'll see. Um, skills that increase stats in general. So like Sand Spirit and stuff. Skill count consumed have been decreased. Based on the lead, they went down by one. So Sand Spirit is at three, now it's at two. Um, but unless they increase the actual stats you gain from like Sand Spirit and stuff, I still don't think it's worth using. Just save up for your instant sparks or wild sense or some crap like that because they're just not viable. They don't do a good enough uh, damage buff for you to actually care for it. After image strike, let's see. Effect duration has been reduced to 10 seconds. That was all I was asking for. 15 was too long, 10 seconds. I can manage that. And will be removed if your opponent uses perception while you are under the effect. Oh, nah. That was a huge nerf. That was too big of a nerf. Yeah, after him, the strike is dead. Because it's so easy to perception somebody in this game from perception spamming. Like, there's no there's no drawback from spamming perception. So, just getting one perception off of an after image strike person and then the whole effect just goes off. It's not worth spamming. It's not worth using three, three, three goddamn skill gauges. If people still going to use it for utility, yes. You know, dodge a blast, you know, all that. Yeah. But, like... It's going to be so easy when you see someone pop after image strike to set up a perception. Just spam it. It's going to be so easy now. That sucks. And then you still can spam. You still can last it out by just spamming key blasts at them. Throw. You know, perception is the best way to, like, count and super counter. Like, dang. Oh, um, false curse. Skill count consumed have been increased from one to two. Um... I don't know how y'all feel about that one. I don't know how y'all feel about that one. I think two is still easy to get to, but we'll see. Skill count consumed has been increased from three to two. They gotta be a typo. They mean decrease. Uh, skill count consumed have been decreased from three to two, and status increase upon activation has been increased. So they now they did they buffed up Goku's. I'll beat you in five seconds. Thank you. Thank you. Cause that that skill for it to stay on five seconds and it didn't get that much of a goddamn skill boost. I just wonder how much it actually is. They nerfed the skill consum consumption in three to two because they know it stays on five seconds. But how much of a buff did they really get Goku when he does that? I need it to be at least fifty percent more damage. At least fifty percent. Um, I need I need I need the goddamn and my ten times coming coming high is doing ten thousand. I need to see that mother say fifteen thousand personally. Um, Stardust Bear, you can now activate it while receiving melee attacks. So they, they gave it a buff. It's like an explosive wave now. And then it, it got a blast adjustments. Um, long range blast and ultimate blast. Speed has been reduced. So 
so now they they nerfed the speed of like okay they nerfed the speed of long range blasts and ultimate blasts so like broly and them ultimate stuff they're gonna they're gonna travel slower to give you an easier chance to vanish them okay okay super vegito final kamehameha key consumed and damage has been increased so now it uses more key to use it but it does more damage okay i didn't know it was uh lackluster you barely see my using it on Super Vegito. They just do that thing strike and just beat your ass, okay? <laughs> Goku Daima. I don't like saying mini. Goku Daima. Quick rush. Trajectory can now be changed while rushing. Okay. Mr. Satan? They nerfing Hercule? Present Bomb. Increased ending lag after activation. I know some people that was spamming Present Bomb. In a, in a loop so i understand why they did that but like i don't think anyone really cared that much about her but team dp never mind team dp android 19 and dr jero i seen it coming health and key amount absorbed on successful throw has been adjusted so clearly they, they get less okay it's a nerf dragon dash quick ascend and quick descend now consumes key exactly there were so many people that were saying Oh, the developers built them like this on purpose because they're Android and yada yada. No, they didn't. They didn't test the game enough. They didn't. It was something that went under the radar. Now they use key. Now Android 19, Josh Jero is no longer meta. Um, you probably can still do the whole false courage and then grabbing somebody, but it's easy to just it's easy to just spam the perception button in this game. And why you're uh, not spam, hold the perception button in this game, and then someone tries to throw you, you can just mash the guard button. Some people don't know this, but you can do this on the, the was it classic? Um, no, standard control scheme. You can hold the guard button and literally, I mean, hold the perception button and literally spam the guard button. So if someone tried to throw you, you automatically tech it. So throw is not really an issue in this game. It's too, it's too easy to tech throws in this game because of that. Um, and the fact you can tech when someone tries to throw you from behind and stuff. There's really no, it's really rare to get a throw off in this game. So, yeah, I personally would say Andrew 19, Dr. Jero, um, yeah, they're not good anymore. They're not good anymore on the meta scheme. You probably still fight with them because the health and key from throwing is still going to be good. But, like, yeah, um, I think they dealt with. They they now balanced. Some may say they're in the ground, but, hey, it is what it is. Sales second form. You can now escape the throw. I'm assuming Sale had an untechable throw, like, Ultra Instinct Goku and stuff and Broly. If you don't know, the game kind of flashes black and white with certain moves to let you know that a move is unblockable. Some people don't notice it, but it is in the game to let you know. Um, it just happens so quick when a person uses the move. If so, if you're ever wondering why the screen get like cinematically grayscaled when someone like try to do like Ultra Instinct Goku throw or Broly throw or a super attack that's unblockable, that's the reason why. It's letting you know it's unblockable. You need to dodge. So I'm assuming Sale had an um, untechable throw. So now his throw is his throw is no longer untechable. It can be tech. It can be tech now. Okay. Cooler amount of health restored upon transforming has been increased. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, so I'm assuming Cooler was not getting that much health back when he was transforming. Now he, he gets a lot of health back. He get a lot of health back when he transform now. Okay. So you're gonna see people abusing that like in old BT games. Incre giant characters increase the time it takes to charge a smash attack which is the whole swear button and reduce this power Ooh, double whammy i understand they made it take a long time to charge it up no no vice versa i understand they reduce the power it does the, the amount of damage it does but making it that it's reduced damage and it takes longer to charge a smash attack i wonder how much did they nerf the damage on it actually because double whammy is crazy um great Ape vegeta and dr willow maximum health has been reduced thank you thank you it made no sense that a villain from dragon ball z villains from dragon ball z early sagas sand sagas was having so much health made no sense made no sense although we have improved performance and ease of use okay so there's a couple things in this patch that i didn't see that i wish i would have seen one super counters they did not touch on super counters at all that sucks that sucks so now people gonna be still combo breaking non-stop that's gonna be annoying two i don't think they dealt with key blast spam really i really don't i truly believe key blast spam still gonna be a thing for people to get an easy unblockable ultimate move off 
I don't think being able to just do a 360 and deflect key blast is the answer. You're gonna take less damage, but it's still it's still your opponent forcing you into a a non vanishable state, and then they just do an unblockable ult, ult on you. Is it way more? Is it is it? Do you have more options to finesse and outplay it? Yes, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you're still thrown in an oppressive state. You're still thrown in an oppressive state. Uh, Cause you can't step when you're far away from your opponent. You can only step when you're near your opponent. So you can't use that tech to dodge the key blast. So I still, me personally, I still think the key blast spam is still gonna be viable. I don't think they did what they needed to do to deal with that problem, which would be consume key. Consume key when using key blast is in sparking. I, that would have solved the key blast spam situation. I still think it's gonna be a problem. Um, like I said, they didn't deal with super counters, so combos still gonna feel like it's inefficient. People just super count out the combos, so that suck. Um, they didn't nerf skill gauge uh, uh, amount you get from fighting, so I still think we still gonna be dealing with the whole instant spark loop. I still think that. You know, it's no longer be in a situation where someone can pop the instant spark and then use the O and then pop instant spark again simply because it's gonna be four bars instead of three, and most people can only hold six steel gauges on them. So, yeah, it, you won't be stuck in that loop anymore. But most of the time, the person only need one instant spark to get off to win the fight. I don't know about that one. I don't know why not. The 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 instant spark thing that just be something you gotta play the game and see. But uh, yeah, super countering, key blast spam. I think that's still gonna be in the game. Um, they nerf at the image strike, but I still feel like the main thing people are still gonna be using is wild sense and uh, full power charge and instant spark. So I, I think at the image strike had fell out the goddamn situation a long time ago once people started key blast spamming. So yeah, I don't think that was the real thing. Um, well, issue. I didn't see anything here about. Um, Rage quits getting penalties when it comes to their rank points, so that suck. I, it seems like they're gonna stick to the whole penalty timeout thing. Um, that'll make me feel good because I just need my points. Okay. Um, there's no new content in the game, but I'll touch on that after. Communication errors. I didn't see. I didn't see anything here talking about fixing the queue time and stuff with matchmaking and stuff. That sucks. I don't see nothing in here talking about fixing the uh, the error that still erasing people save data in this game. So that sucks. Um, there are still some major updates that they didn't show in this patch that needed to be talked about. Um, do I think it's a step in the right direction? Of course, of course. But do I think they did they hit the main things that would have made people actually come back to the game? I say the W that they got is giant characters got nerfed, at the image strike got nerfed, Android 19 and 20 got nerfed, and the 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 extra gauge on instant sparks. Those were the major things I seen here that was like, oh yeah, oh and Venice Wars five. Those was like the five key things from this patch that was amazing and character switch host. That was the five things here that was amazing. And Z Search. But the main thing that I needed that they needed to touch on in this patch that was like would have brought a lot of people back is taking the rank points from rage quitters, nerfing super counters, and nah, I think those are two major things. And then actually adding a game. A playlist for casual play instead of us having to do lobbies those three things would have brought people to like enjoying this game a lot more now is this a great patch yes I, I said the video, beginning of the video we're gonna be answering the question is this good enough for you to come back to the game this is an amazing patch step in the right direction but I'll be honest with you guys I don't think this is a good enough change for me to come back to the game. The main things I needed fixed in the game for me to come back was super counters being too easy, Venice Wars, which they did touch on, uh, rage quit issues that they did that they still didn't touch on even more. I know they already said the timeout thing, but I need them to heckle heckle down on that a little bit more. Um, 
communication issues, it still take some time to find a goddamn match that they told me. I emailed them. They said they're going to work on it. I didn't see nothing about it in this patch note, so that's kind of suck. That kind of suck. Um, yeah, those are the main things that make me really enjoy the game to its fullest. Uh, it's a patch note. It's a patch note. Okay, I'm not expecting it to just fix all the problems in the game. It's a good patch note. But I don't think it's a good enough patch note for making me want to come back to the game. Um religiously again I need content I'll be honest I need content in the game people don't really like watching ranked battles like that anymore hopefully that goes up but um when it comes to like content in the game like story mode or a, a single player game mode I can play or something like that new maps to play on um yeah that's what I need maybe they'll add those type of things that people was asking for in, in the DLC but as of right now without anything like give me an uh, uh, initiative to play this game I really don't have nothing nobody really plays the game unless my friend asked me to hop on and play some matches with him for fun don't really have a reason to play this game as much as I would have had I feel like the snowball effect died down for me like I was on a roll and rank matches all day but um yeah they'll have to do something big for me to come back to the game and be like oh yeah I'm gonna enjoy this game it's gonna be very fun you know um let me know how you guys feel about this patch note. Did they miss something very uh, important important to you that, that needed to be in this patch for you to like come back to this game? Um, or have you moved on to different games like me, playing Mar Marvel Rivals or something like that? Um, let me know in the comments down below what y'all think about this patch note. They missed, they missed some key points for me personally, but let me know. Did they hit everything that you was worried about in this game? Um... Did they, did they hit everything you needed and you love this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, love you guys. Appreciate you guys always. Until next time, stay up.